Hey, what's going on YouTube? Lionel, aka Hot Chocolate. Um, back with another video. Uh, this one uh, comes from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. And it is called uh, Dolce Light Blue Living Stromboli. Stromboli? I guess that's somewhere in Italy. I don't, I don't know. Somewhere in the Mediterranean. So uh, I assume it's somewhere in the Mediterranean because people talk about the Mediterranean when they mention this fragrance. Uh, needless to say, this is Light Blue Living Stromboli. Uh, it has the same Stromboli. Um, it has the same bottle, just with the the white cap of the light blue. Um, and I'm gonna jump right into this video. So let's talk about this one. Uh, I am surprised that when I see top ten designer summer fragrances, that this isn't in the top three of everybody's list. Um, now let me start off by saying this has sort of the cologne note, the watery aquatic note. Um, so if you're if you are turned off by that note, then you probably want to avoid this because it sort of has a, a sharper note of, of that of that character, sort of a cologne-ish um, note. Excuse me. Um, but let me jump into the notes real quick, and, and then I'll explain a little bit more. In the top, you have citruses. Then you have red pepper, uh, or not red pepper, I'm sorry, uh, pink peppercorn. I mean, in the heart, you have water notes and geranium. In the base, you have vetiver, patchouli, and amber. Now, I would probably argue that I get a, a great deal of these notes, uh, particularly in the opening. You're going to get this sharp citrus, um, this, this sharp citrus note uh, with the peppery, almost peppery woody woodiness from the pink peppercorn. And then about five minutes into spraying it, this aquatic note comes in. This cologne aquatic note kind of joins, um, and it's a very pleasant, um, nice, sharp, bright almost astringent um, citrus fragrance but don't be turned off by that because 15 minutes or so this geranium joins and the geranium if, if you know much about that note it sort of has this this spicy floral note to it uh, spicy floral aroma and it combines very very well with everything else that's going to use water and it, and it sort of adds, geranium really adds some character to this fragrance and really that's when it starts to split from many of the other uh, citrus fragrances like you know sort of like um, Versace Pour Home which I love, Old Fresh which I like um, either Dolce Light Blue which I like uh, this one is a bit more, so where Dolce Light Blue is a bit more woody uh, this one happens to be a bit more um, a floral in a, in a heart and as this geranium comes up, it sort of adds almost a creaminess to it. So it sort of cuts down on that sharp astringentness and sort of adds a creamy and, and smooths out the rough edges of that cologne, that 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 citrus, watery, aquatic note. And, if, and, and, and it amps up the spiciness of the pink peppercorn. So this becomes a very, it's still bright, but sort of a creamy, bright um, um, floral fragrance. And it is tremendous. I mean, it is... Go, listen, this is shot to the top of my designer summers, and it probably if I do a top ten summer, and I'm going to include Neroli Portofino and some other fragrances, this one is going to fight very hard for a top five spot. Um, you can get this very, 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 very reasonable online. I did, and I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to that one on my last, on my next video. Um, but I really want to give this one a little bit of time um, as I'm up to about the four minute mark. Um, so. Let's talk about as this fragrance starts to dry down completely and you get really into the base, um, the vetiver comes along and the amber comes along and, and it sort of um, um, uh, stretches the fragrance. Well, I think this fragrance is going to, so, you know, the citrus is starting to die down a bit. I really think this fragrance is going to just fade away, but it doesn't because this amber vetiver combination comes in and sort of prolongs the rest of the notes so it sort of drags some of that citrus in there and it drags that geranium and and prolongs the life of it I, I don't know if that's right I'm not a perfume but however they whoever the perfume when they made this fragrance I don't know if they knew that or not or if they tried to or not but when that 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 amber and um uh, vetiver comes in it just prolongs the life of the fragrance so I think I thought you know when I first smell this fragrance oh, it's gonna be about four hours three to four hours and it's gonna disappear no 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 eight hours later this fragrance is still born the longevity on this is superb I'm talking eight hours on my skin I sprayed a couple of sprays on my shirt 
The difference is when I sprayed it on my shirt, it stayed sharper. Um, it didn't become as creamy, and I really didn't get that the sweetness of the amber and uh, uh, the vetiver and the base. Uh, it really kind of stayed right near the heart of the fragrance, and that's what I smelled on my shirt. But on my skin, it really unfolded, really developed very well. And I'm telling you, I got about eight good hours out of this fragrance before I had to just like do that like I'm talking about six hours it was still radiating from my skin and actually I was a bit sick yesterday and it was almost making because I could still smell it so well uh, it really really impressed me so um, the longevity on this is perfect the versatility is on perfect I think if you if you're looking for something in the colder weather just to you know spray on and just enjoy like you're gonna be in the office and you really don't want anything heavy I think this fragrance would be a very very good pick for you um, I really think you can overspray this fragrance. It is so sharp and, and pretty heavy. Um, I think more than four sprays in the summer would get you. Now, I don't know how this works in the summer because it's been cooler here. And I wore it in about 70 degree weather yesterday. Um, it's been, you know, uncharacteristically warm and hot, warm and cold here. Um, I actually wore it and it was about 70 degrees yesterday and it performed wonderful. I'm talking about wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So I don't know if it'll burn off in the summer quicker. Um, but if not, this will be a go-to fragrance. Um, overall, longevity projection, I'm going to give this one a 8.5. Uh, actually, I'll give it a 10 for a summer fragrance, but about compared to my other fragrance, I'll give it about a 7.5, 8. Um, smell, it is, it is very similar to like the Old Fresh, the Poor Homes, those types of, but it, the geranium and the base sort of takes it a different direction. So I would put this one high marks, sort of has the creaminess, of a uh, 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 Edition Blanche, sort of has that feel to it, but with the still the sharpness of the citrus and watery notes. Um, so versatility, I'll give it about a nine. I think you can wear it all year round. I really think it's going to work well in the summer, warmer weather. Uh, I think it's great for romantic times. I think it's good if you don't overspray for like a church or that kind of thing, but it may actually bother other people because of the projection. It, it has, for me, it had very very beastly projection in the opening um, so you have to be careful there in intimate settings um, but I'll give this one overall um, even if I would have paid retail for it I would have gave it about a, a eight eight and a half I'll give this one about a nine and a half too so I'm very impressed with my recent haul picking this one up um, uh, for and at the price point even better so Dolce and Gabbana light blue uh, living stromboli um, high marks again Check it out. Try to sniff it out. Go to your store. See if they still have it. I don't know if it's discontinued in stores or not. Smell it. Then jump online and buy it. So that's it for me on that one. I got one more video. Peace.